What's up, everyone? Welcome to the April 8th edition of DraftKings Tournament Plays, presented by Prize Picks. I'm your host, Adam Scherer. You can follow me on Twitter at ShipMyMoneyDFS. And as a reminder, you get one free month of Awesomeo Plus Platinum. When you sign up and make a deposit at Prize Picks, be sure to use the code Awesomeo to receive a 100% first deposit bonus up to $100. Tonight, we have a nine-game slate, uh, third to last regular season slate of the season. A lot of injury report or a lot of players on the injury report um, that you know could be resting. So be sure to tune into the deeper dive and live before lock as always on the awesome YouTube channel. But for now, taking a look at 10 or not 10, five of the top tournament options on DraftKings, starting at number five, LaMelo Ball, point guard only, $9,100 price tag. He's projected for about 18% ownership with a 20% chance of being in the optimal lineup. Charlotte is taking on the Chicago Bulls. The Hornets do still have something to play for here. Um, they are in the play-in tournament, but the seeding still matters. They could potentially move up to a higher seed. Right now, they're coming in at 10. Lamelo's around a 1.4 DraftKings point per minute player. He's likely to give you 35 or 36 minutes and is projected to go slightly on their own. Number four, Obi Toppin, power forward and center eligible. Julius Randle is out for the rest of the year for the Knicks, so you should get Toppin in the starting lineup and playing a lot of minutes. Additionally, Mitchell Robinson is out as well, so the Knicks are even thinner in the front court. Not that they typically give Toppin minutes at center, but Taj Gibson goes from being Toppin's primary backup to Jericho Sims' primary backup, which means that we can expect Toppin to play more minutes more frequently. He's $6,200, projected for about 15% ownership, with a 20% chance of being in the optimal lineup tonight in a favorable matchup against the Washington Wizards. Number three, Luka Doncic, point guard only on DraftKings, $12,200 price tag. He has a fantastic matchup against the Portland Trailblazers in terms of a team that he should destroy whenever he's on the floor. Not the best matchup in terms of Dallas being a 20-point favorite at home against a team that it's very, very likely they just destroy and Luka doesn't need to play the fourth quarter. So there are some blowout concerns, some playing time concerns here. But Doncic is only projected for about 19% ownership. There's plenty of value on this slate. He has a 21% chance of being in the optimal lineup, so still projected to go a bit under own. Number two, Georgios Kalatsakis, uh, shooting guard and small forward eligible, $3,600 price tag. Right now, we only have him projected for 11% ownership with a 26% chance of being in the optimal lineup. I don't know for certain what Oklahoma City's starting lineup is going to look like. There is, I guess, a non-zero chance that they go back to a more normal starting lineup. But in each of their last two games, we've seen Aaron Wiggins, Teo Maladon, and uh, Alexi Pokashevsky, all DNP. And as a result, you've gotten very condensed rotations from Oklahoma City. Khaled Zykes played 43 minutes two games ago. He played 29 minutes last game. He's not a great point-per-minute guy, averaging around 0.7 fantasy points per minute, um, including his time with the Bucks. But if he plays 30 to 36 minutes somewhere in there uh, tonight against the Lakers at $3,600. He's very likely to pay off that salary. And number one, sticking with Oklahoma City, Jalen Horde, power forward and center eligible. He's $5,600 on DraftKings. In the last two games, Horde has played 45 and 36 minutes. Um, assuming he's in the starting lineup again tonight, I expect a lot of playing time. It's a very good matchup against the Lakers. And Horde's not a bad point per minute guy. In the 147 minutes he's played with Oklahoma City this year, he's averaged 1.06 DraftKings points per minute. He's currently projected for 39% ownership, but has a 59% chance of being in the optimal lineup. So to recap, the top five tournament options on DraftKings as things currently stand, number five, LaMelo Ball, number four, Obi Toppin, number three, Luka Doncic, number two, Georgios Kalatsakis, and number one, Jalen Horde.